Tonight, the story of a high school quarterback who took a life-changing path in his return to football. Brant Morgan is QB1 and is the focus of this week's Snapshot New York. I think all my coaches would agree that they didn't think I'd be playing football again. Brant Morgan is a senior at Jericho High School. To appreciate where he is, we need to go back to where his story began two years ago as the JV quarterback. He was like the next up and coming guy and uh, we had a fantastic season. Uh, he, he led us to our first win at Jericho in a couple of years. Then a shadow fell over his bright future. I heard a click while I was in the shower and I look in the mirror and I saw two golf size, probably the size of two golf balls, a size mass popping out of my neck. Within days, the diagnosis was clear. Cancer, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Everything just stopped and I was just in shock. Brent went directly to the hospital, and just in time. I got to the emergency room and they found out that my cancer spread from my throat to my chest in less than a week. For the next few months, he would undergo multiple rounds of chemotherapy. I'm stuck here getting poison put into my body. It caused me to lose probably almost 30 pounds. Um, I got neuropathy, which um, I lost feeling hips down. While his friends were enjoying the life of a high schooler, Brant spent months relearning how to walk. So now I want you to do it on the inside line. Every wobbly step fueling his desire to return to football. I'm going to do this. I'm going to wake up tomorrow. I'm going to do this. I'm going to wake up the next day. I'm going to work out and I'm going to just transform my body back to not only where it was, but better. He grew stronger, faster, better than before. He didn't just want to come back. He wouldn't stop until he was the starting quarterback, QB1. Quarterback's the leader. The quarter, if, if you don't have a quarterback, you can't have a team. He is the starting quarterback. Absolutely. A role he earned. Absolutely. Well-deserved, well-earned, and uh, plays it well. On this day, Brandt led his team on the field against Oceanside, one of the biggest schools on Long Island. His mother, Abby, is at the edge of the fence of this game that was both inspiring and gut-wrenching. As a mom, is it tough to watch your son getting tackled? Yes. Yes. It's very hard. It's disturbing. But I have to put it back in, again in my head that we met a year ago, he couldn't even do any of this. And a year and a half ago, we were in the hospital. So look at him now. He's on the field. He's living his dream. This is him. This is all he ever wanted. This is Brant Morgan. And I couldn't be prouder. He is my, my QB1 forever. Brant took some shots in this game. But nothing hits as hard as cancer, a fact he's reminded of every chemo treatment. Having a good time, like hitting some people on the field, like as hard as it is for some people to watch, like my mom to watch me get hit after everything, because I've been hit with a lot worse. And even though it wasn't a win, they had moments to celebrate and reflect on the bigger picture. You're gonna go through so many dark times, especially throughout something so crucial like this. Like life is a mindset itself, and I've learned that in so many different ways now. That like when I'm facing, like I'm going through a war, like I'm going through, and I'm still going through, I'm still getting chemo. And I like last week, I just had a, a dose of chemo. Like this is one chemo, one more or less instead of one more. Like sh shoot, I have one more. I'm getting a, I'm getting chemo today. Like all right, that's one less, and then I'm done. Playing four quarters of a game with my brothers, my coaches, and all like my family here, like that's a win itself. Great perspective there. Wow. Brandt will continue his chemo treatments until March of next year, and he says that he cannot wait to ring that bell. What a tough kid we can all learn from. Yeah, definitely. special.